What's up YouTube, I'm John Wheels, and today we're gonna to be upgrading the engine on my Coleman CT200U mini bike. So today we're going to be removing the governor and installing 18 pound valve springs. Um, I was having such a tough time with the governor getting that out that I actually just took off the flywheel um, and popped the uh, pin out from the back side and then I shoved a um, bolt in there and with some Loctite and same with the top one plugged that off so now uh, that that's removed everything can go back together. All right, so I made up a throttle system. I just reused the stock uh, governor throttle spring here. Um, and I actually kept that, you see how that throttle screw there is still there? Um, that limits the throttle cable from overextending. So there I got full throttle now. The throttle rod stays nicely in place. Spring stays nicely, doesn't interfere with the uh, pull start. Okay, so I um, fed some rope down into the cylinder once I took the spark plug out, and that's so the vo valve doesn't uh, fall down into the uh, combustion chamber. Now I'm going to push this retainer clip out and take the uh, spring with it. And then um, I can take the new valve spring, slide it on there, grab my retainer, and then push it down in and hook it in. And now um, I can grab my rockers and slide those back on. And then the uh, rocker stud. Uh, now I can take the nuts, the locking nuts and uh, Get those on. And I'll pull out the rope. Okay, so now that I got the rope out, uh, I can take my screwdriver and put it down there and feel and watch the valves until I get to uh, top dead center. And then I can set my valve lash. So let me get there with two hands. So I can uh, take my feeler gauge and slide it in here and then tighten the uh, nut right here until I can 
snugly wiggle it back and forth and then tighten down the lock nut. And then um, for intake, I'm using a .004 and for exhaust, .006. All right, so I got the uh, valve less adjusted and these uh, uh, locking nuts tightened down. So there's a little bit of play. And the reason for that play is whenever the engine heats up, um, as you might know, metal expands. So um, if the metal expanded, then it would be not letting the valve seal all the way. So if you give it that little bit of lash or gap, um, then when it heats up, it won't be opening the valves a little bit. Now some of you might be wondering why I didn't go with a uh, air filter, carb jet, and exhaust. And the reason is um, I live in a neighborhood and uh, I just want it to be a little bit quieter. Uh, so I'm going to leave the stock muffler and uh, there's no real reason to upgrade the air filter if I'm going to be keeping the stock muffler. And um, obviously the jet is tuned for the stock muffler. And then I also thought with those uh, upgraded air filters they're great but um, if they get muddy uh, there's no real protection on them but the stock air box has some nice protection on it from mud thanks for watching remember to like and subscribe and leave a comment below stay tuned for the next episode where we upgrade the uh, throttle on the mini bike